And so she's now here in the crystal city of the Stone Mountain City of Atlanta by way of spiritual voyage. And so once we resume, she's going to give a channel of what, uh, of what Tupac came and said. Uh, with what Tupac came and said. So uh, you got you back? It's back on. And so uh, I tell you what. Yeah. since we started back. It's not, not by mistake. Now, one thing about him, in spite of all the stuff, he did know he was going to die. And I'm going to give him that. He did know he was going to die because the new, the new CD that's coming out in two weeks has him nailed to the cross dead. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, right. And I mean, that new video with the white suit, like you're saying, and all, you know, the man literally knew he was going to die. So that is profound in that particular sense. And not only that, too, They've been having a Tupac marathon on the teeth on on on, on BET all this last week, and I've been talking on him all this, all his videos from the last three years. He was constantly talking about dying. So if his if his coming was just for that alone, he was constantly talking about dying. You know, they showed some of these back videos like '93. He was talking about dying. You see, so maybe that was the reason why he raised a little hell while he was here. Yep, mm-hmm. So that's it. So now, what we're going to do is, is um, Sister Shakira is going to, Sister Shakira is going to uh, read uh, her, uh, how are you doing, Sister? She's going to read her, uh, her uh, channel from uh, Tupac Shakur. Okay, you, you go ahead. I, I got this. Are you thing to pick up that far? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just sit right here. This will work. And we're gonna read this here, and she'll get it. Yeah. Okay. This was yesterday, um, 10, 10 p.m. This is my warmest greetings to all. First, I was very surprised at the impact my death on the had on the nation, especially young people. Wipe your tears and don't be sad because I'm peaceful and happy. In fact, I'm very, very happy. I send my deepest love to all the people. I feel your love vibration, accept your prayers. Keep sending your prayers. I most definitely appreciate them. So my loved ones, my family, my girl, kid, and the whole crew, all my homies in the hood, I watch over all of y'all. Ma, I'm there with you, especially at night. You can sell the crib in, in, you can sell the crib in L.A. and keep what you think you should. Tell my sister to keep on being there for moms and don't fall to pieces every time someone mentions my name. I need for you to be strong. Hey, Jazz. Jasmine guy. How's my honey doing? Girl, I see you taking charge. I come and check you out sometimes so I can't help but laugh because you're bugging when they try to diss me. I don't I can't see that you don't like that. Kid you to my number one girl next to my mom. Dry your tears, baby. I know you miss me. And you look at my pictures inside, but I'm right there with you. Don't be afraid. I know you're scared of who you should talk to at this time, whatever the truth will come to light. Someone you will be assigned to the case, and you should cooperate with him because he's on. Say hi to your mother and your sister. I still love them. What's um, Q up to? Tell Mr. Jones to take it easy and don't work too hard. You should try to get some rest. People, it's, it's important for you all to stop killing and fighting each other. Release all the jealousy and anger because it's not worth losing your life over petty stuff. Believe me, people, your lives are so precious. Treasure every waking moment. Brothers, tell your girls you love her and lose all their pride. Stop fronting in front of your homeboys. And keep it real, y'all. All that boasting don't mean nothing. Y'all supposed to be helping each other out. Make time for your family. Stop hanging in the street so much and chilling in the house sometimes. Spend time with your girl and get to know one another I'm instead of trying to get your rocks off and being a player all the time. Wake up, crew. My, de my departure from the physical world should be a wake-up call for all of y'all. Real soldiers don't give up. They keep on fighting to the end. 
Let not my death be in vain. Let my words and the verses in my song reign, reminding and enlightening you, because I came in the world with a struggle and lived with a struggle. And although they shot up my body and think that I'm dead, my spirit lives on and on and on. Yes, I'm alive in the spirit and my soul rejoices. Keeping it real, y'all. Peace and love. Now, this came today. What's up, crew? I'm touched by the up outpour of affections and love. I'm glad that y'all keep jamming to my rhymes and verses because I was rapping, hoping that y'all get the message. I was a man born with a mission. I was a soldier with a quest. And now that I've shed my earthly skin, I'm going to keep on fighting. Too much injustices have been committed against me and my people. It would be cool if I said put the glocks down and stop gang banging, but let, let's examine the reasons why we do what we do. Why are my people still enslaved by this crooked and shaitanic system? Why are my homies and fellow comrades getting locked up? Who put the glocks in our hands in the first place? Who swarm and infest our neighborhoods with drugs? They got us honest civilians watching our every move, imprison us in projects, clocking our every move. Don't the babies and children, don't they deserve to be free? If this is our land, the land of the free and the brave, then why aren't we free as we want to be? And why we got to be scared to be brave because so strange assassins got their dog on our asses? We have suffered enough, been brutalized enough, been raped enough, been starved enough, and been pimped enough. The war is on, enough said. Where are those lying motherfuckers who call themselves politicians, the elected officials who got elected in office? Black like me, yet they refused to come near my ass while I was locked up on trumped up charges. Where was the concern when I got senselessly gunned down and the cold ass motherfuckers drive a white Cadillac and got away? All of a sudden, nobody's talking. Nobody saw nothing. Nobody, everybody's trying to protect their asses. The people knew, know who I'm talking about. This does not involve my family. I see the real bullshitters and the real con artists. I'm watching y'all. Nobody can take the pain away that was inflicted on my family and real friends as they watched me bleeding profusely, lying helplessly in that hospital bed. No words can bring me back physically, but still I live on. I'm immortal, and I walk with the ancestors. I walk with Brother Malcolm, Brother Marvin, Brother Newton, and I finally sat down and talked with Red. He's still telling jokes. I also met some of my, some of my homies who arrived before I did, and we have plenty to talk about. To, to, to everyone, I say, don't be afraid of death. Don't just sit there and take my words and them. What are you doing to help the black community? All are talking, but where is the action? Stick together, people. There's too much empty spaces between y'all. Stop looking down on those bums on the street. Feed and shelter the poor and be kind-hearted. The government aren't looking out for us, so we got to look out for each other. We got to clean up our own mess. Check up on the elderly. Make sure they ate and run some errands for them. They get too neglected too often. Visit the sick in the hospitals and tur don't turn your back on the brothers in the jail cells. They represent a part of you that's locked up. When they kill me, they kill a part of you too. We are all part of the whole. When I hurt, you hurt, and when you are hurt, I am definitely hurt. Think about it. Good love, my people, and don't give up hope. Celebrate life in your living and enjoy and enjoying good on all others. All power to the people from Brother Huey. One love from Brother Marzael. That's a deep brother. Brother Malcolm says he's checking out Minister Farrakhan and laughs. Free the land, y'all. Stop being slaves and become masters again. Keep your heads up. I'm out.